Hi, my name's Anna Brett and I'm the author of this book, Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species. It's illustrated by Nick Hayes and published by Lawrence King Publishers. So, who was Charles Darwin? Well, he was born in England just over 200 years ago and it's his theory of evolution by natural selection that's celebrated as one of the greatest achievements of humankind today. Um, he put his theory out there in a book titled On the Origin of Species and that's what our book hopes to make accessible for you today. So I'm just going to read from the book uh, a summary of his main theory. Darwin saw that there were always small differences or variations between the individuals of a species of animal and that these variations could be passed on from parent to child. Some of these variations might be useful traits that make an individual better adapted to survive in their environment. For example, by helping them get food or helping them escape a predator. These animals were more likely to survive for longer and have more offspring and then pass these useful traits onto that offspring. So over long periods of time, these useful traits would become more common in a population. Essentially, nature was selecting those with traits that made them better adapted to their environment to go on and survive and produce more offspring. And this was the basis of Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection. So the book covers all the main points of his theory uh, and we use examples from nature to put them across in a simple way. Um, we've got uh, the finches from the Galapagos Islands to talk about variation. We've got the honeybee to talk about instinct in animals. And we've got the evolution of the horse's hoof uh, to talk about species modification over millions of years. And it's all beautifully illustrated by Nick Hayes. And in fact, that's what Darwin did. Um, he used examples from the natural world around him to back up his ideas. When he was just 22 years old, he embarked on an epic voyage around the world on the HMS Beagle and was so amazed by the diversity of species he saw around him. From the giant tortoises on the Galapagos Islands to the colorful plants in the Amazon rainforest, he really believed that evolution by natural selection had to be at work here because each individual was so well suited to the environment that it lived in. So I hope for all you budding naturalists out there that you'll really enjoy reading this and uh, you'll be inspired to see evolution at work in the natural world around you. So that's Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species, published by Lawrence King Publishing.